Injuries, star-studded no-shows, and Le'Veon Bell dominated the first round of the fantasy playoffs. While we can turn the page on the duds and Bell's otherworldly performance, the injuries suffered last week have created one of the most eventful weeks on the playoff waiver wire in recent memory, most notably in New York and San Diego. If Matt Forte's knee injury forces him to miss any time, Bilal Powell will be an automatic starter in all fantasy formats. He handled the entire workload for the Jets last week, running for 145 yards and two touchdowns against the 49ers, including the game winner in overtime. Powell also caught five passes for 34 yards, putting him just shy of 30 standard league points on the day. Powell has had enough juice as a receiver all year to be relevant in PPR leagues, but if he starts for the Jets the rest of the season, he'll be relevant across the board. Empty the fab budget for him, with the Jets playing the Dolphins on Saturday. Melvin Gordon owners likely wouldn't have made the playoffs without him, but his hip injury suffered in the first quarter of the Chargers' loss to the Panthers likely sunk most of their playoff hopes. With Gordon likely done for the season, Kenneth Farrow takes over as the starter in San Diego. The undrafted rookie out of Houston ran for 55 yards on 16 carries and caught six passes for 23 yards after Gordon left the game. Ronnie Hillman was inactive, so it's possible Farrow will give up some of the workload to the veteran Hillman the next two weeks, but he'll be the team's primary runner. The Chargers have a run-friendly schedule for the rest of the fantasy playoffs with the Raiders and Browns on tap. Mike McCarthy finally acknowledged what most fantasy owners and Packers fans could have told him weeks ago. Ty Montgomery is the best healthy running back on the Packers roster. Montgomery ran nine times for 41 yards and a touchdown in the Packers' 38-10 thrashing of the Seahawks last week. He also caught three of four targets for 45 yards. Montgomery's remaining schedule isn't all that great with divisional games against the Bears and Vikings, but the Packers are going to figure out ways to get the ball in his hands 12 or more times every game. That makes him a fantasy weapon in all formats. Finally, Dwayne Washington started for the Lions after Theo Riddick's surprise and active status, getting 64 yards on 16 carries. Riddick could return next week despite his wrist injury, but Washington has always been the more logical inside runner. If he retains that role, he'll be on the RB3 and flex radar with the Lions visiting the Giants next week. That'll do it for the waiver wire heading into week 15. I'll be back with you all right here on Friday to talk stardom or sit for the fantasy semifinals. Until then, happy hunting on the wire.